Aloha. I'm Andy. In today's video I will show how to integrate the SATA drivers in the Windows XP installation disk. This video was requested by Elvis1357. He keep getting the blue screen when he tried to install the Windows XP on the HP Compact DC 7900 PC. The blue screen appears because the Windows XP installation disk doesn't contain the SATA drivers and doesn't recognize the HDD. I managed to borrow this refurbished HP Compact DC 7900 small form factor PC and I will show how to integrate the SATA drivers to the Windows XP installation disk. If you have a floppy disk drive and a working floppy disk then you simply copy the SATA drivers to the floppy disk and during the installation press the F6 key and load the drivers from the floppy disk. If you don't have a working floppy disk then you need to integrate the SATA drivers to the installation disk. We need a couple programs to do this. A CD burner to create the Windows XP ISO file and to burn the installation disk. I used the CD Burner XP portable version. You need to download the SATA drivers from the official HP support page. You need to download the NLite for XP program to integrate the SATA drivers into the installation disk. I insert the original Windows XP disk to the optical drive. I unzip the CD burner XP on the desktop and I run it. In the root of the partition C, I create the XP folder. Inside this XP folder I create three folders, SATA drivers, here I will copy the SATA drivers. XP for SATA. Here I will copy from the ISO the Windows XP files and the XP with SATA folder, here I will create the final Windows XP ISO with SATA drivers. I select copy or grab disk to make an ISO from the Windows XP disk. I unzip the SP44286.x and I copy the F6FLPY32 folder in the SATA drivers folder. I install the NLite program.
I download the virtual clone drive program, I install it and I load the original XP ISO file. I run the Enlight program. I browse the original Windows XP files from the virtual clone drive and I copy in the C colon backslash XP backslash XP for SATA folder. The Windows XP files are copying. I click on the next button. I click on the next button again. Here I select only the drivers and bootable ISO and I click on the next button. Here I click on insert button and I select multiple driver folder. And I load from partition C colon backslash XP backslash SATA drivers backslash F6 FLPY32 folder and I click the OK button. Here I select the C colon backslash XP backslash SATA drivers backslash F6 FLPY32 and I click on the OK button again. I check the text mode driver and select all drivers and I click on the OK button again. I click on the next button. I click on the yes button and the integrating process is starting. Here I select to create image, you can name it the ISO whatever you want and I click on the make ISO button. I save the Windows XP with SATA drivers ISO file in the XP with SATA folder. I click on the next button. I click on the finish button. I remove the original Windows XP CD and I insert a blank rewritable CD. I burn the Windows XP with SATA drivers ISO to disk with CD burner XP by selecting burn ISO image. I browse for the ISO file and I click on the burn disk and the burning process is starting.
After about 7 minutes the disk is burned and I restart the PC to install the windows. I press the F9 key to enter in the fast boot menu and I select to boot from the CD-ROM and I press the enter key. Here I press again the enter key and the PC is booting from the Windows XP CD. I don't need to press the F6 key to load the SATA drivers, because I already integrated in the Windows XP installation disk. I will filming till I partition the HDD and the copying will begin. If you don't have the right SATA driver for your PC, at next step you will get a blue screen. And I have of course the right SATA driver, because I downloaded from the official HP support page for the HP DC7900 PC. I am agree with the license agreement, so I press the F8 key otherwise the installation process will finish. And here I have the 2 HDD. I partition the HDD. I start the installation process, the partition is formatting. And now the files are copying to the partition. This is the end of this video. 
Thanks for watching, don't forget to, share, comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time, goodbye.